This is such a difficult story. That three year old was already having serious health problems when he was left alone with his siblings in this Chelsea apartment building. A growing memorial outside the Spencer Street apartments where three year old JL Gardado Prudencio was found dead Sunday morning. His mother is now charged in his death. Jennifer Prudencio emotional in court today as prosecutors allege that she left the toddler in the care of his seven and eight year old siblings, even though she knew he was sick, suffering from a seizure disorder and was vomiting blood. The defendant went out that night to a bar in Revere where she drank alcohol for a number of hours, and then she slept at a friend's home, a boyfriend's home in Somerville. The prosecutor says Prudencio had taken her son for medical treatment twice in the past week, but still left him overnight, even as his brother sounded the alarm. At some point during the night, the eight-year-old brother of the alleged victim sent a text to the defendant, their mother, expressing concern for the well-being of his brother, the three-year-old, and actually attaching a video. But the 25-year-old did not return home until 10 the next morning to find her youngest son had died. Prudencio's defense attorney says his client is severely distraught over the loss of her child and is cooperating with police. Neighbors at the apartment building are stunned by the tragedy. I remember the little boy because he was so cute. Very sad because uh, he's only three years old. Now, Prudencio is being held on $100,000 bail. She is due back in court for a probable cause hearing on May 2nd. We are live in Chelsea tonight. I'm Mary Saladna, WCVB News Center 5. Mary, thank you.